Mire Genki. So recently I've noticed a lot of people are being asked by the people around them, why are you studying Japanese? Which is why today's theme is. Jibun no mokteki, your own purpose. Kono kokusai teki ni natta sekkai de, iro iro no gengo o kenkyu suru kikkai ga oin desu ne. Desu kara, dou shite nihongo no benkyo o eranda no? There are usually two types of people who ask you this the curious people. So, why are you studying Japanese? And the people who want to give you a hard time about it. <laughs> Japanese? Why are you studying that? In either case, would you be able to answer? Hopefully, by this point, you've already begun to think about your reason for studying Japanese. Otherwise, you may find yourself in a situation like this. Ah, nothing like a good day to get work done. <laughs> Ooh, new email. Let's see. Dear Loretta, I watched your videos on YouTube and I had a question. Well, a couple of questions actually. You see, a lot of times when I hear Japanese, I feel like there Ooh, are these this is going to be a long one. I don't understand. I was just about to leave, too. Should I answer now? It can wait. I mean, it's just one, right? Ooh, email! Hi. I just saw your videos. You seem like a nice person, so I thought I'd warn you. Do something else with your life. Why do you think you'll get anywhere learning some random language? That's the second one this week! <laughs> Whatever. They don't know me. <laughs> and delete. BAM! Oh no, I accidentally closed my game! Oh, it's going for the record! Oh, it's that email's fault. What's up with that? There's a common Japanese proverb, derukugi wa utareru, which in this case means that the person who sticks out too much will be made to conform. But hold on! I'm not Japanese. In fact, I was taught the exact opposite to be unique and an individual. So, why in a world of being an individual, is there so much opposition when someone finally sets out to do something different? If you've taken interest in another culture, there's nothing wrong with wanting to learn more about it. But if your learning goes a bit too far, some people can see it as an unhealthy obsession, that maybe you can't balance out a lifestyle or be content in your surroundings. You can joke about it, but the truth is, comments like these can be hurtful. And that's right, they don't know you. They don't know why you're pursuing something as difficult as learning a language. They don't understand what motivates you. But do you? This can be a perfect opportunity for you to reflect on why you, personally, are studying Japanese. Because hey, you may know what it is you want to do, and you might still be figuring it out. As long as you know, if somebody reacts to you negatively because they don't understand, it doesn't matter. They're not going to be there when you make your future. You are. And the only person who can tell you who you are and who you're going to be is you. But whatever it is about Japanese that's frustrating you, feel free to contact me or email me here at lascot at wm.edu. And hey, it may be used in a future episode. So mina, ganbatte, owen shiteru wa, I'll be cheering for you and me as we tackle Nihongo no Muzukashisa, the difficulties of Japanese. Oh, no.